Hi guys, it's Barnaby for Spurred On and it's transfer deadline day. Big questions to answer. Will I be left as devastated and upset that we haven't bought a striker at the end of today as I was when I stood here back in August and I was just like, Daniel Levy, what have you done? And then him and Poch and Paul Mitchell have proven to me ever since that it was completely fine and they didn't need to buy one anyway. Other points of fact for today. We'll be doing regular Tottenham transfer talks. This is our 12 o'clock mid uh, midday episode, but we'll be doing regular ones as the rumours come in about players coming in and going out, but also we'll be on the Football Republic between 9 and 10 o'clock on YouTube. Find them on YouTube, The Football Rep, and also uh, follow the Football, Rep, uh, the Football Republic on Twitter on the hashtag TFRDD all day. All the rumours from all the clubs will be coming in and out of that account. Make sure you check it out, guys, and don't forget to find us there between 9 and 10. Okay, so here's the first Tottenham transfer talk of the day. As I'm sure you all know, Alex Pritchard has gone on loan to West Bromwich Albion for the rest of the season. Interesting one this, I think, because Pritchard has been injured for the last few months. Uh, I don't really know how he passed his medical. I guess he's nearly there, but he certainly won't be match fit. However, on a good point, on a plus point, it would be great to see him get Premier League experience. He's a magic player, lovely touch, lovely vision, terrific deliverer of a football, and he's got a heck of a strike on him. He did brilliantly at Brentford last season. And then the final little plus point that a lot of people are asking, and I wonder about as well, is that a little sweetener saying to Jeremy Peace, Daniel Levy to Jeremy Peace, here, you have a little bit of Alex Pritchard, we'll deal well with you, and let's forget about all that nonsense about Berahino back in August, and maybe we'll put a sneaky little bid back in for Berahino later on in the day, who knows? That leads me on to Saido Berahino. Of course, the latest news on him is that Newcastle have reportedly bid £21 million cash for him. Now, if you're interested why I've even said cash, it's because, as we remember with Daniel Levy back in August, a lot of these deals these days tend to be in instalments with add-ons depending on how many games they play, how many goals they score, whether they get into Europe, etc, etc. But this apparently is a Mike Ashley bid, £21 million up front. That must be tempting for, uh, for West Brom, I would have thought. Stoke apparently also interested. They've been asked to be kept informed of the situation. And I dare say that if one of those bids was accepted, Surely, if, if Pochettino and Mitchell really want him and they really believe he's the player to push us on uh, and play alongside Harry Kane or replace Harry Kane when he's injured or, or needs a rest, then they would have to match that bid because the interest has been there for so long. So it'd be interesting to see how that one pans out. If I were going to put a rating on it, I would still say it's only about two out of five because I can just see West Brom holding out on this one. Uh, they seem to think they'll get as much money in the summer as they would now, even though he'll only have a year left on his deal there. Interesting. They're playing hardball, though. You've got to give them some credit for that. Finally, uh, I'm sure you know this as well, the Moussa Dembele to, uh, from Fulham deal, Moussa Dembele 2, uh, has fallen through, according to Sky Sports. They're usually pretty, pretty good on, on finding out details on that kind of thing. Uh, Rumours are that Fulham, of course, wanted him to be loaned back there for the rest of the season. Considering he's only got six months on his deal left, that seems bizarre to me. Why would Spurs agree to pay four to five million pounds to then loan, them back to him, uh, loan him back to them when in the summer we can get him on compensation, which would probably only be about four or five hundred thousand pounds. He's never played in the Premier League, etc., etc. So it seems odd. I do wonder whether Spurs will go back in late in the day and try and sweeten it a bit more because obviously I think we do need a striker. But who knows? The other rumour on that one is that Fulham had asked, apparently, for one of Nabil Bentaleb, Alex Pritchard or Harry Winks on loan as part of the deal, and Spurs weren't up for, for that. Uh, mainly, I'm sure, with um, Pritchard, because they'd already agreed the deal with West Brom for him to go on loan there. Anyway, guys, that's uh, the end of your midday edition of Tottenham Transfer Talk. Uh, don't forget to follow on Twitter, uh, not only Spurred on TV, but also hashtag uh, TFRDD for all the deadline day news today from the Football Republic. We'll be on there between 9 and 10 later on. Check it out on YouTube, and don't forget, Come on, you Spurs. We are going to debate whether or not Deli Ali's goal is the best goal in the history of football. Now, as Spurs.